This is number 10 Windermere Road. Windermere Road is a little short gravelled private road which is located off the bottom of Woodland Road. That's Woodlands Road over there. There's actually a little alleyway at the end of this house, these houses that leads up onto New England Road so you can walk round to the parade of shops or to the town. Um, and also you've got St. Uh, St. Warden Park Primary Academy School just around the corner. So everything's within an easy walk. The town centre, literally 10 to 15 minutes. The station, much the same. Um, but here we go. So it's number 10. Windermere Road's made up with a mix of old houses. You've got some old, old Victorian houses here. A bit of a mix, and a sort of modern chalet bungalows. Um, this probably was built in, we think, 1970. The owners have been here since 1987. It was just a three bed semi like the adjoining house, but as you can see, it's had a very big two story side extension, which I'll show you in a minute. The ground floor is made of a very big garage and then there's an enormous room above, which the owners had as another sitting room, but uh, it's got lots of options. Anyway, come in, here's the front door. Stairs obviously upstairs. And then the lounge dining room. So it's a classic 70s three, what well, was a classic 70s three bedroom semi, lounge diner on the ground floor. But this one's got a few twists. You've got the down, uh, the kitchen here. That wouldn't be the original kitchen, but it's been in a few years. That wall we were looking at in front of us, that, the other side of that wall is the garage, which you'll see in a sec, offers loads of scope to be able to convert it into a massive kitchen if you wanted. Then they added this great big conservatory some years ago. This has been replaced in not that long ago, so it's in very nice condition. Directly south facing garden out here, really nice and sunny. I'm filming this video around about 11 o'clock in the morning in March. So you can see the sun is out. Over the back here is a lot of new houses. That was a, that was a little industrial estate a few years ago, but it's been mainly redeveloped into houses. There's still some commercial units. Anyway, come back inside. There's an internal door to the garage. Now have a look at this. This garage is 24 feet by 12 feet. It's enormous. Um, it's double length, virtually. I mean, it's not quite double width, but you could certainly sacrifice part of this for conversion. The front could still be a garage or a playroom. Through that wall is the kitchen I mentioned. There's a window here, so you can imagine an enormous kitchen breakfast from here would be fabulous. And then come back in the house. And we go upstairs. The property is offered with no chain as the owners have actually moved into their late father's house in Hove. So there's no one with chain on this one. Right, here's the extension room. So this was made as into another living room, but really could be converted into two big bedrooms if you wanted to. View over the guards at the back. It's the neighbours there, neighbours there. Then back at back out the front window. Plenty of parking. You've got a bit more front garden if you ever wanted more parking. So this room potentially could be two bedrooms. There's the family bathroom. The back bedroom, which I would have said would have been the original second bedroom. Double size. Big set of wardrobes, morning. Beyond this wardrobe is another wardrobe. So that's where the original bedroom wall would have been to make this room a bit smaller, but potential there to open that up if you didn't like the mirrored wardrobes. Then the original main bedroom. Again, built-in cupboard in here. Plenty of wardrobes. Again, I'm looking in the front of the property. And then the little third bedroom, or fourth bedroom really, depending how you look at this house, is just at the front there. So classic third bedroom single of an old 70s semi. In my opinion, I'd make this into an ensuite shower room and divide the big room into two. So you'd actually have four double bedrooms and actually two bathrooms. Now whether you put a hole through that wall we're looking at now into that small bedroom to make an ensuite, or you could make the existing bathroom into an ensuite if you wanted everything in the master bedroom on the back of the house being the south side. Hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, please let me know.